Hello dear students, uh, let us continue our discussion on graphical solution of LPP. We will take up a few more problems for your understanding. So let us uh, take one problem from this textbook. It solve uh, graphically. Okay. Let's take this uh, problem. Solve graphically. That max uh, minimize minimize z equal to x1 plus x2 subject to the constraints subject to the constraints five x one plus nine x two is less than or equal to forty five then x1 plus x2 this is greater than or equal to 2 okay oh sorry i i will not take the, take up this problem first let me take up some other problem uh, there is a reason for this uh, let me take something like uh, x1 plus 2x2 okay after this problem then i'll do the other problem uh, x1 plus 2 uh, x2 x2 greater than or equal to 2 and x2 is less than or equal to 4 and x1 x2 they are greater than or equal to 0 so this is the non-negativity constraint okay so we have a um, uh, problem with minimization problem with four constraints okay three constraints and together with the non-negative constraints okay non-negativity constraint so uh, what is the system if you remember from the earlier class, we have to construct uh, the uh, inequations. Okay, so in the solution, we will write we plot the regions represented by represented by the given constraints okay we plot all those region which are represented by this given constraints okay so the first one is 5x1 plus 9x2 less than or equal to 45 okay so this is the first one so 5x1 plus 9x2 less than or equal to 45 so what we do is um, x1 x1 by uh, you divide both sides by this 45 x1 by 9 plus x2 by 5 is less than or equal to 1 so we convert it to the intercept form okay and then uh, this one is x1 plus 2x2 so uh, it may be given as xy or it may be given as x1 x2 the system is same okay x1 by y uh, 2 so x2 by 1 this is greater than or equal to 1 okay and then the last one we have x2 less than or equal to 4 x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0 okay so these are the given constraints right so let us plot them one by one so here uh, we make the axis okay and then uh, this way okay so and let us make this markings almost equal equal markings okay, one two three four five six seven eight and so in exam please remember to do it using a compass or uh, this ruler scale okay so that the markings are equal on both the axis otherwise there will be a scaling problem and you may may not get a uh, proper uh, diagram okay so something like this that i have been marking there are some uh, these are not equally marked because i am doing it just randomly okay so in exam please make sure that you use a proper scale and the markings should be equal right and please level these things one two three four 
five, six, okay, something like this. One, two, three, four, five, okay, in that way, please try to level this thing. So here, uh, since the variable is given as x1 and x2, so we will take this two as x1 axis and x2 axis. Okay, so the first one was x1 by nine. <laughs> okay, so nine is somewhere here. Seven, eight, nine x1 by 9 and x2 by 5 is less than or equal to 1 okay so let us plot it for this here first x1 by 9 x2 by 5 okay so this one okay so this is the line and then the next one is x1 by 2 plus x2 by 1 x1 by 2 plus x2 by 1 okay so somewhat like this so this will be okay, like this this line and then uh, x2 less than or equal to 4 okay so it's this line x2 is oh sorry sorry, sorry not this x2 x2 less than or equal to 4 so the line will be this this one okay now we have to identify the regions so for the first one it's less than or equal to one so you put the uh, origin you will see that it's uh, satisfying the origin satisfies this right 0 by 9 plus 0 by 5 less than or equal to 1 so origin actually satisfies this so for the first one the region lies in this part okay for the first one the region lies in this part okay so just you can make some marking so that you can understand for the second one for the second constraint see 0 uh, 0 0 doesn't satisfy this so the region does not contain the origin so we can go to this one so the region represented by this greater than or equal to 1 is this okay so the region that doesn't contain the origin, origin lies here okay so the region that doesn't contain the origin is represented by this one and the uh, third one is x2 is less than or equal to 4 okay so x2 equal to 4 is this less than 4 will be the region that is below okay so now immediately you can understand which region is common to all these uh, regions okay let me mark it in a different color so uh, this region this is the visible region right this region contains our solution this region is common to so the non negativity constraints gives us the restriction that the region should lie in the first quadrant only okay not in any other quadrant okay so this is the feasible region so let us name it as say a b so these are the end points the c this is d and this is e okay so a b c d e we will write it let us write it here uh, the shaded region shaded region a b c d e represents represents the visible region okay. represents the visible region okay so our solution lies somewhere here okay now we have to find which one is the uh, that is uh, the optimal solution the minimum value okay since it's a minimization problem so there are two ways as i told you you have to you can find out this end points okay the compute the values of these points and then put the values in z and then select the minimum one okay but the, here you see there are so many points a b c d five points so what's the use of finding out z for all these five points instead we can just plot the cost line corresponding to any particular value and then move it parallel to itself okay so here the cost line will be represented by x1 plus x2 so we plot the cost line the cost line uh, for so is z equal to 1 because uh, that is x1 plus x2 equal to 1 okay 
So let us plot the cost line for x1 plus x2 equal to 1. So it will be something like this. Let me draw it in a different color. Okay, uh, yeah, I already have a different color. So it's something like this x1 plus uh, x2 equal to 1. Okay. Proper. I think uh, it may work. Let us see. Okay, almost. So this is the line x1 plus x2 equal to 1. Okay, this is the cost line, right? Okay, so I have to move it uh, parallel to itself. So still it reaches a point in the visible region which is nearest to the origin. Okay, so here you see, you see if I move it. Uh, to uh, away from the origin then its distance from the origin increases that is the cost increases okay so i have to move it parallel to itself okay. till it reaches a point in the feasible region which is nearest uh, at, at which position the line is nearest to the origin okay so here the line uh, itself the, the position where we have drawn at this this position itself it is nearest to the origin okay so uh, this this particular point uh, that is uh, so it intersects the visible region only at the point what, what uh, only at the point E okay so the point E will give us the minimum value okay so if if you had uh, drawn the cost line something like uh, for z equal to five okay then also uh, the process is similar. Okay, suppose you draw the cost line for uh, say z equal to 5 so x1 plus x2 equal to 5 okay so this particular line and then you move this line parallel to itself so if i move this way it goes away from the means it the distance from origin increases but it's a minimization problem so i have to move it uh, towards the origin here in this particular case okay so i can move it up to this position because if I go below this, it will be outside the feasible region. Okay, so it has to remain inside the feasible region. So only at this position, the position uh, at which it passes through the point E, that will give us the feasible uh, yeah, solution. Okay, feasible region. Uh, sorry, the solution of the uh, optimal solution of the problem. Okay, right. So it's not necessary that you should start with z equal to one. It depends you can start with so you um, uh, means in particular if you face such situation where the cost line that you have uh, chosen uh, is passing through this particular point itself means there is no scope to move you can start with a cost line uh, which is further okay so that is easier to write for you okay, my laptop battery is low I'll just pause the video for a second I forgot the command to pose. Okay, I'll just get the charger. So this was uh, the problem. So here we plot the cost line for z equal to one, uh, and move it it parallel to itself to itself till it reaches a position in the feasible region a position in the feasible region this line is important okay in the feasible region region where it is nearest to the origin okay it is 
nearest to the origin okay so uh, we see that the position is so we see that the uh, that at 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 that position we see or uh, is seen at that position position <clears throat> the cost line passes passes through the point the point e in the visible region e in the visible region region okay so e gives us the solution e, e gives the optimal solution okay optimal solution <coughs> okay e will give us the optimal solution so what is the or what are the coordinates of e uh, the coordinates of E here we don't have to solve anything because it's just lying on the y-axis and it's the point zero one. Okay, so the coordinates coordinates of E <coughs> are zero one. Okay, so therefore uh, the optimal solution is optimal solution is x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 1 and minimum value of z that is x1 plus x2 it will be 0 plus 1 so that is 1 okay this is the minimum value of z okay. so this is the solution of uh, the lpp okay this lpp okay now let us uh, take this uh, similar problem but I, I will change this uh, constraint a little bit okay so till now whatever uh, problems we have seen the feasible region is a bounded region okay and uh, the solution that we obtain is a unique solution okay the cost line ultimately passes through only one point right but uh, there are cases where the cost line may also pass through uh, different points okay it may pass through to means more than one point okay so in that case uh, what will be the solution so or can there be more than one infinite uh, yeah, optimal solution so the answer is yes there can be many optimal solutions actually okay so let us try that so this is another problem solve graphically minimize everything is okay i mean so the same as the previous one except this particular constraint so it's uh, I'll make it x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 2 okay so th on this one so uh, the system is same we uh, plot the lines corresponding to this things okay. uh, x1 so x1 plus x2 less than or equal to greater than or equal to 2 so x1 uh, so, sorry x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 2 x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 2 so this will imply x1 by 2 plus x2 by 2 is greater than or equal to 1 okay so if we plot the line here okay let us plot it again instead of editing there if we plot these lines you'll see <coughs> i have this and i have uh, say something like this and there are points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, 10, like that. And then uh, this side also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, like that. 
So let me give enough uh, sufficient points so that it's easier for us. So x1 by 9, first one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so this is x1 by x1 by 9 and uh, x2 by uh, x1 by 9 and x2 by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so it goes this way, right? This is the straight line. And then the next one is x1 by 2 and uh, x2 by 2 x1 by 2 x2 by 2 okay so it's something like this x1 by 2 x2 by 2 and then x2 is less than or equal to 4 1 2 3 4 okay this one is same as the previous one this is the line okay and let us mark the uh, inequalities now uh, so for the first one it's same because it was this x1 by 5 uh, 9 plus x2 by 5 less than or equal to 1 so origin satisfies this constraint so for the first one it is this way for the second one it's this way because the origin doesn't satisfy in this region okay. so for the second one it's this way for the third one it is x2 less than or equal to 4 okay so the origin lies this way Right, so the region is also in this way. So the common region is, as we have seen earlier, this is the visible region. Okay, so in exam, don't make it too clumsy. Just uh, small markings are sufficient. Okay, don't shade it like you are doing some sort of art artwork, dark pencil artwork. Okay, please do not do that. Just mm, simple mm, lines or dot dots. Okay, so that the diagram is clear. Uh, so here we have this two and now we will plot the cost line okay we will plot the cost line so this is the feasible region a b let us name it this is your a this is b this is c this is d this is e so a b c d e is the visible region so the writing will be similar a b c d e is the feasible region okay is the visible region okay our solution lies in this region right so we plot the cost line we plot the cost line line x1 plus uh, r of r, r z equal to 1 okay that is x1 plus x2 equal to 1 and move it parallel to itself and move it parallel to itself okay so don't get confused that for minimization problem we have to move it towards the origin that's the wrong thing okay here itself you will see that uh, we are in fact moving it away from the origin it, it all depends on the cost line that you choose okay so if i take something like x1 plus x2 equal to 10 so i will get the line somewhere here in that case i have to move it towards the origin ultimately you have to move it such a way that it should remain inside the visible region okay so for that if it is necessary to move it towards the origin then you move it towards the origin if it is necessary to move it away from the origin you move it away okay so, so that's why it's better to, it means it's it's proper to write it move it parallel to itself okay parallel to itself till it reaches reaches a position in the feasible region in the feasible region where it is nearest to the origin because it's a minimization problem okay so you have to take care about that if it is a maximization problem it will be different where it is nearest to the origin okay so let us do that let us plot the cost line first okay so cost line is x1 plus x2 x1 plus x2 equal to 1 maybe something like this no that's the wrong thing control z x1 plus x2 equal to 1 okay so it is this way not perfect uh, yeah 
Sorry. Okay, so let me draw it again. It's okay, so almost. So this is the line cost line which is x1 plus x2 equal to 1. Okay, now we have to move it since it's not there in the visible region. Okay, it's outside the visible region. So we move it in such a way that it goes towards the visible region and at the position where uh, it intersects so one thing you see that x1 plus x2 equal to 1 and x1 plus x2 equal to 2 there is a relation between uh, these two lines this is equal to 1 and x1 plus x2 equal to 2 there is a relation between these two lines what is that these two lines are actually parallel okay so if you move this one uh, uh, then it will intersect at some point it will actually coincide with the yeah, line okay so here it's not coinciding because the diagram is not proper that is why it's important to draw the diagram properly okay just have to rotate it a bit this rotation function doesn't work nicely in this software I don't know why sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work okay so here Okay, let it be. So uh, for understanding, it's okay. What happened? So it got hung. What? Okay, so let me just pause it a bit. Okay, so we are back. Yeah. Sorry for the disturbance. The software suddenly got hanged up. Okay, so this was this line, uh, X plus, uh, the first line. Okay, so we move it parallel to itself till it reaches a position in the visible region where it is nearest to the origin okay so you see at uh, at the position where it is nearest to the origin it actually coincides with this particular uh, line x1 plus x2 equal to uh, 2 okay so this is what is happening right so when you move it parallel to itself it actually coincides with the line so that is what you have to write so in the uh, pen and paper you cannot show this illustration okay so just you have to write that we have to visualize so for here in computer it's easier to visualize see if i move it parallel to itself so in exam what you do is uh, you use a scale or ruler and try moving the ruler parallel to itself okay uh, place the ruler uh, as part the um, placement of this uh, cost line and then move it parallel to itself okay then you'll get the points <clears throat> so if it is if you have drawn the diagram properly then it will exactly coincide with this particular uh, parallel line okay so but in drawing there may be some sort of mistake so theoretically we can always understand if if your uh, this uh, cost function x say ax1 plus bx2 uh, is same as one of the constraints okay the coefficients in the cost function is same as one of the constraints okay then there is a chance that uh, this particular uh, thing uh, the solution will will coincide with the uh, the optimal position will coincide with that particular constraint okay so there is always a chance right so uh, you have to be uh, means from the theoretical background itself you can understand okay so even if there is a, some problem in drawing it doesn't coincide exactly okay even then you can conclude because uh, here you have the cost function as this and the constraint as this x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 2 okay or equal to 2 right so here it's actually parallel hmm? 
so let us uh, write that part so we move it parallel to itself so that one we have written uh, then we see that we see that at the nearest position nearest position the first line coincides with coincides coincides with x1 plus x2 equal to 2 okay with the line x1 plus x2 equal to 2 okay so any point on this line is actually a solution of the is uh, not only a solution is an optimal solution okay a b c d e so so there are multiple optimal solution or there are infinitely many okay because there are infinitely many points between this two right so there are multiple optimal solutions multiple multiple optimal solutions solutions here Okay, so what are those solutions the multiple optimal solutions uh, so any point any point on the segment okay line segment on the line segment a e okay any point on this line segment a e okay is a is an optimal solution okay is an optimal solution optimal solution right so how do you find any point on this line segment e okay the, the equation of uh, equation of a e is what e is x1 plus x2 equal to 2 okay but there is some restriction that uh, x lies or x1 lies between 0 and 2 okay x1 less than or equal to 0 uh, less than or equal to 2 and x2 also lies between 0 and 2 okay 0 less than or equal to x2 less than or equal to 2 okay this is the equation of the line ae okay so an opt so this from here x2 is can be written as 2 minus x1 so uh, so any optimal solution any optimal solution solution is of the form of the form this x1 equal to say something let us take c x2 equal if, if i take x1 as c then x2 will be 2 minus c okay so where what is this c c, c lies between 0 and 2 okay you take any uh, any real number between 0 and 2 you will get an optimal solution so <coughs> what is the minimum value of z minimum z is x1 plus x2 right x1 plus x2 so that is c plus 2 minus c so here the minimum value of z will be 2 whatever be the optimal solution means uh, whatever be the coordinates that you choose for the solution the optimal value of the uh, objective function will be same okay it's not different uh, for each optimal point the value of the objective function will be the same okay so there are infinitely many optimal solutions so here so there are there are actually because you can take any real number between 0 and 2 there are infinitely many optimal solution infinitely many optimal solutions optimal solutions okay so we have given the general form of the solution c comma 2 minus c okay you could have written it as uh, x1 equal to 2 minus x2 in that case the optimal solution form would have been x1 equal to 2 minus c x2 equal to c okay so this is uh, one example where we have seen okay so your home task is try the corresponding problems or try the corresponding maximization problems okay the constraints are same you try the corresponding maximization problems okay maximization problems 
okay so for the maximization problem what what will happen here the ea is same this first uh, visible region is same so but but you see even though the one of the constraints is parallel to the cost function that will not give us the solution because the problem is maximum so i have to uh, move it further okay so it's not necessary that whenever one of the constraints is same as the objective function you will always get infinite solution it depends on whether the problem is minimization or maximization okay so here you see if we keep on moving this uh, line parallel to itself okay so here we have already caused crossed this okay so the last point that we cross is the point b so this b will be the optimal solution for the maximization problem here right so you please try it both the problems you try the maximization yeah, part maximization part okay in the next class we will see another case that is the unbounded solutions or unbounded optimal or uh, the cases where the feasible region is unbounded okay right thank you